Hey gang, this is something that I didn't even know existed, and it's very unusual, I gotta say. It's uh, from Rico, R-I-C-O. If I'm saying it wrong, let me know in the comments below, but um, I thought, it, it looks like it says Rico on it. It's bubble milk tea drink, and it looks like there's blueberries in it, so... It's a Taiwan classic. Oh, Lord. I don't know if I'm going to want to drink this or not. Um, let me see. I'm trying to find the sugars in here. So pretty much 27 grams of sugar. Pretty much uh, it says 27 grams of sugar includes 24 grams. Added sugar is 48%. So, wow. That's that's a lot of sugar. So uh, hopefully it's going to be something good. Let me hopefully do that for the thumbnail. Okay, good enough. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to open this bad boy on up. And uh, luckily, it's not real hot outside, so I can probably drink this. Because when it gets hot outside, I can't not drink any kind of dairy products. So, yeah, go. Okay, take a sniff. Wow, that's unusual. All right, well, let's cross fingers and hope that's good. So, let's give it a try. <clears throat> okay. You definitely taste tea. You can definitely taste milk. About, about a 50-50 between them both. A little hint of blueberry in it. It's not bad. You know what? I... If um, there's more stuff like this, I would probably give it a shot. If it's not, well, if it's not strawberry, you know, but wow. Milk and tea. I never thought I would ever try a combo like that before. Because normally in tea, I like to have, you know, half, uh, not half a cup, less than a cup of sugar. And one of those little packets I've done on here before. Um, um, well, I like to have peach tea, raspberry tea. Orange flavor tea, lemonade, cherry pomegranate, berry pomegranate, watermelon's good, um, pineapple's good too. But the only one I tried so far I didn't like was mango flavor because for some reason it tastes like gasoline. So I think I mentioned that before on here. But yeah, if you've ever tried one of these before, let me let me know what you think about them in the comments below, and hopefully I can come across more of these. I would say give them a try. But of course, if you if you can't handle that much sugar, please don't try it because, you know, I don't want to get sued. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's, that's it's it's actually pretty good. I would I would give it a recommendation, and um, yeah. So of course, I'm not being paid to endorse this product. Just telling you guys what I think about it, and uh, I'll probably be up for the next few days. So. It's an interesting flavor. I gotta say that much. Milk and tea. I don't know where you can get these at, but um, I, I got this one at uh, where was it? I want to say the park, because it was one of those days last week where they were just donating boxes of, of sodas and flavored waters and juice. And uh, I'm hoping they're gonna do that again this week. <laughs> I'm not getting too. I mean, I still got a couple of more drink videos to do for you guys, but. Uh, they may come in next week. I don't know. It just depends on what this weather is going to do and everything like that. And, you know, it's been a pretty super busy week and uh, and everything like that. I don't have to worry about the yard sale just yet, but that that's not for, I have got, what, less than, about around two weeks less before that starts, so, or something like that. What is the, the 12th, I think? I think. See, I got quite a while before the yard sale starts, but... I gotta stay busy between now and then. So yeah, I would say give them a try. And uh, again, if, if it's too much sugar for you, don't try them. I don't know if they make a zero sugar version of these, but it's pretty good. So yeah, so uh, that's about it. Milk and tea. Never heard of that. So, well, I've heard of milk and tea, of course. <laughs> What is this milk that they speak of? And this tea? I don't know. 
I'm going to get on out here before I ramble on too much and I just wind up looking like a bigger fool than usual. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. Hope you're having an awesome day. And if not, hopefully it's better for you tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. If you would, please go check out the following channels. If you want, subscribe to them as well. Reno Vega, Reno Week, Grease Monkey 2.0, Rebel Rocker, Little B Fitness, and Little B, I'm kind of curious, have you, ever, have you ever tried these before? Because she's always doing, you know, some pretty interesting drink videos on her channel, so I'm kind of curious if she's ever tried this before. Uh, Sherelle C., Verena Price, Betty Price, Tyler 2071, Amber Sist, Danny Nightmare, and these channels as well. I, I probably need to up, like, up, update this list sometime soon when I get the chance. Jason Callen, One Drink, Three Bars, Hot and Fresh Reviews, Funky Uncle John, Joshua, Matt Perry, Four Migos, 60 Second Cocktails, Coffee and Clicks, Chaz and Chucks, Chaz and Chucks Didn't Suck, Food Factory, Foodie Tube, Fine Dining, Hobgoblin Industries, CC Ramirez, I, 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 again, I think he goes under a different name, I'm going to have to update that, uh, Gnome's Tavern, Joshua Maxwell, Food Review, Hungry Kua Food Reviews, I'm sorry if I keep messing that up, uh, Bubba Shack Food Review, Nene Mugbang, if I screw that up too, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Team Snack Pack, and the Bacon Whisperer. <laughs> That's gonna be one of the one of the funniest names ever, and yet I can see if if I ever see somebody doing that, just whispering to bacon, I'd be like, dude, whatever you're on, stop it. The King Sushi, Andy Wagner, Tom's Food Reviews, Beast 83, and Food Reviews. So uh Yeah. I, I enjoy doing these videos for you guys, and I, I like hearing from you guys and everything like that. And uh, and you know, just just keep the comments coming in, and and uh, hopefully soon we're going to get to 600 subscribers. And um, and when we get there, you know, you guys made it happen. So and and uh, where I'm at right now, I appreciate it. And uh, again, hopefully this channel will continue to grow in 2024. And uh, I feel like I'm doing an Oscar speech. <laughs> John Cena, you are brave for what you did at the Oscars this past Sunday. Take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good yourself. Try to be good others. Till we do this again, as always, stay strong. Rock on.